Okay, we're now going to cover a, a, quite a few sort algorithms. We're going to start with the probably the simplest one. It's also one of the most inefficient, uh, but it does have one advantage we're going to find out at the end. So uh, a bubble sort it makes multiple passes through a list. It compares adjacent items and exchanges those items if they're out of order. So here's an example, one pass. So uh, you write this as a loop inside of a loop. Uh, this is just the example of the first loop. So it sets a pointer to uh, the first item in the list and compares it to the second item in the list. And if they're uh, out of order, it swaps the two. So in essence, it's moving the item that should go to the right to the right. And so uh, then it goes to the next item, and the, so I would advance to the second item in the list and the, it would compare it to the third item in the list. If they're out of order, it swaps the two. In this case, they're in order. So we have 93, and then that's going to compare it to the next item in the list, 17. It'll swap them. So the 93 is now moved to here. And you'll see from now on, 93 is actually the largest number in the list. As we progress to the list, 93 will be percolating toward the end of the list. And this is why it's called a bubble sort, because uh, once you see find the largest item, it will tend to move, bubble up to the top of the list where it should be. Once we've finished completely one pass, uh, which is actually down one more, uh, the 93 is guaranteed to be in the proper place. So as you make one pass in the bubble sort, uh, the end of the list is now correct. And now you can sort a little smaller list. You sort up to this, uh, one less than the end of the list. So we repeat the same sequence over and it'll move the next largest item, which looks like it's 77 in its, its proper position. And then you do one list smaller. Now analyzing this, you'll find it's O of N squared. Uh, actually to swap, you'd use this code here. So when we look at this code, this outer loop is going to uh, be each control the um, going through the whole list, shorter and shorter and shorter list. So it, it says uh, this is for how many we're going to go. So it starts out, it's going to go through from i equals zero up to one less than the list here. And the next time uh, it's going to decrement by minus one and eventually it's going to reach zero. So this is a range that starts out at the, the length of list minus one, counts down to zero, uh, stepping minus one at a time. So this is, uh, this forms then the range for this next list. So this is, can compare i starting at zero up th through um, the length of list minus one, minus one. So, and then it's actually going to compare i with i plus one and if they're out of order, it's going to swap them. So this is the inner list in which uh, this diagram just showed one pass of that list. Uh, this is a, what they do in the book is they give you a little, um, let's initialize it. This shows you some random data and you're going to see it working. So it's going to be comparing and you'll see the biggest item move to all the way to the right as it runs. So that's one pass a loop. Then it'll come back and do another pass. And as it keeps going, it's going to be doing shorter and shorter passes till eventually everything is sorted. So you can look at these diagrams as you go through the book to see how it sorts. And it's a nice little animation. Uh, one thing about bubble sort, uh, in the first pass it goes through the whole list. If it finds nothing in order, uh, it can actually quit early. Uh, and so, so in this code you can see how he detects that he gets all the way through the first loop. So he sets exchanges to false. And as he goes through this, if he finds there were no exchanges, it's still going to be false uh, when he's done. So when he goes back up here to do the next pass, uh, this will, if this is, if it found that exchanges was true, it's going to keep going. But if exchanges is false, it's going to quit this while loop and quit early. So this will quit early at any point. It's discovered that uh, everything in the sub list has been sorted. Uh, it can quit early. 
and that is bubble sort.